Hi, this is Juan from Huelame Mucho. Welcome to our channel. And today we're going to be doing my favorite video of every year. And this is the top 25 best fragrances of all time, commercial edition. Hi, welcome to Huelame Mucho, the channel dedicated to niche fragrances, colognes, and perfumes. And today, on our non-niche Tuesday, we're going to be doing my favorite video of the year, and also the most difficult one, and it is my favorite 25 fragrances of all time, from 25 till 1. So, this is the most exciting video for me. This is the most difficult, uh, by the way, it's also the most difficult one, but it's for me, it's just that I wanted to share it with you. Just, uh, this is a list from 25 to 1. I've smelled thousands of fragrances during the years. And in the commercial world, this would be my pick. Uh, you know you're going to be hearing a lot of, I love it, they're fantastic, or whatever. We're talking about the top 25 out of thousands. So believe me when I say that they are all phenomenal. From 25 till 1, all of them are outstanding. So... Before we go from 25 to 1, we are going to be doing some honorable mentions. And then at the end, we will be giving you one final recommendation. So, are you ready? Let's go. The first honorable mention we have today is from Guerlain. And this is Platine Privé L'Homme Ideal. This is a limited edition fragrance that has come out this year. If this was not a limited edition, this would be in the top five, hands down of all time. This is my wife's favorite fragrance on me of this year and she told me that I should be buying actually two bottles of this. And this is a combination of cypress plus grapefruit plus dark woods and a bit spicy. It is just so alluring, so spectacular, so memorable that boom, this is my first recommendation. It's a pity that this is not on a regular collection. The second honorable mention, it's actually two, and they're fragrances from Sara. Sara is a brand, is a, is a company that you know a lot that they tend to discontinue a lot their fragrances. Well, these two, they should also, I mean, they could also be in the top 25 hands down, but they're going to be discontinued. At least this one is, this one has been, and this is from this year, and uh, it will also be discontinued. The first one is Creatively Shanghai, and this one is just such an, a spectacular citric spicy fragrance, but it's just a bright citric, you know, the overwhelming power, the over overwhelming intensity. It's just like, wow, I love my life. This is a fragrance that it is incredible. And this one, uh, Sunrise on the Red Sand Dunes, it's a combo of grapefruit plus a bit of uh, tea plus some aquatic vibe plus uh, some spices. It's just perfection in a bottle. Both of them are fantastic, but they are on the honorable mention because they are going to disappear. What can I say? Okay, now that we've covered the honorable mentions, let's jump into the list. From 25 till 1. Buckle up, because this is going to be a crazy ride. Number 25, we've got Toy Boy by Moschino. This is a fragrance that the first time I saw the bottle, I was a bit reluctant, but once I smelled it, I thought, wow, it is incredible. For me, this is the best commercial fragrance for going on a first date. When using this fragrance on a first date, you make sure there is a second one. This is rose, this is tamarind, this is uh, a bit vetiver. It's such a beauty. And it's a fragrance that is marketed for men, but it's beautiful for men and women alike. This is, for me, is incredible. And this is number 25. Number 24, we've got Star Walker by Mont Blanc. This is one of the most controversial fragrances that I've ever seen because apparently two thirds of the population uh, complain that the fragrance does, that, does not last that long on their skin and one third of the population, which in, I include myself, it actually performs reasonably well. This is a fragrance that is perfection. It's versatile, it's attractive, it's got amber, it's got musk, it's got uh, cardamom, it's a bit woody, it's just perfect for every moment on occasion. This is a kind of no-brainer fragrance that I would recommend anybody for a first collection. I mean, you need to buy only five fragrances in your life. This should be one of them. Number 23, we've got Versace. 
This is the other toilet pour home. This is the uh, fragrance for men. And this is incredible. I think that this is uh, a complementary fragrance with the previous one with Star Walker because that the Star Walker would be more to use in during the academic year and this is for the hotter months of the year. Aquatic, amber, musk, unbelievably uh, attractive. You're going to get so many compliments out of this list as a as an average, this is the most complimented fragrance on this list for everyone. On my skin, there is another one that is even better, but for everybody that I've seen and regarding the performance and the reactions on women, if you want compliments, this, 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 this is the one. In number 22, we have a triple tie and there are these three fragrances. We've got Poisson Girl, we've got Dolce & Gabbana, the one, the EDP, and we've got Miss Dior, the EDP. And why are they in a triple tie? Because the three of them are perfect fragrances for going out at night for women. Women go out at night, I mean, the three of them are my kryptonites. I mean, being this one, the biggest kryptonite of all, and if I smell this on a woman, I tend to get super nervous and my heart start, starts pounding faster. But the three of them are perfection in a bottle. They've got, um, they're musky, fruity, floral this one is more rose this one has got also some almonds this one is just perfection a bit more citric but you wear this at night and you're going to get guys and a lot of people getting giving you all their attention <clears throat> this is the princess this is the dangerous one and this is the one that is perfect so for me the three of them are in the same level they are fantastic and that's why the three of them are in number 22. in number 21 i've got my favorite fougere fragrances in commercial in the commercial world um they're classic ones this is cacharel pour homme this is the edt and this is loewe pour homme this is the edt this one there is an updated version whatever because this is the bottle my parents gave me when i was a little boy still smells fantastic and both of them are crazy good fougere fragrances and you are thinking what is a fougere fragrance fougere fragrances they have this uh pyramid structure in perfumery so they come out is citric lavender um spices vetiver patchouli moss uh sometimes you get tonka but this one is the one that is the sexiest fougere fragrance ever. This one is called nutmeg and makes it really unbelievably alluring. It's just wow. For me, when I was a kid, I, I always thought that this was the scent of the sexy man. And if you wanted to smell just perfect, the most elegant person, I would go with this one, the EDT by Loewe. They are phenomenal. I love fougere fragrances and the classic ones, they, they come in pairs. And these for me are the best two classic fougere fragrances that I know. In number 20, we've got the newest release by Aqua Di Gio, And this one is called Parfum. Uh, for me, the best uh, up until today, the best uh, Aqua Di Gio was the original one. It was Perfection. It's a masterpiece by uh, Alberto Morillas. And it's a masterpiece that has a little bit of everything. Fruity, floral, amber, musk, aquatic, whatever. It's green. It's fantastic. And it's been a bestseller for decades. But the thing is that they've come out with different flankers and each one had a little bit of, uh, a bit more aquatic or a bit more uh, incensey or a bit more um, green and powerful. I mean, all of them were fantastic, but the one that has gathered all the powers into one, including the Recently discontinued Profumo, which has the incense one, is this one. This is aquatic, incensey, elegant. Is the Aquadigio original, updated, increased power, performance, and scent. This is a masterpiece for me, and this one is called Aquadigio Parfum, and it's number 20. Number 19, number 19, we've got Polo Blue. This is the Parfum. And many moons ago, I did a video that was talking about the blue bottles. Blue bottles, you know, uh, when you go into the, this department store, every brand has a blue bottle. And why so? Because blue bottles are the super sellers, masculine, versatile, attractive fragrances for men. And 
I mean, we've got fragrances such as Aqua di Gio, uh, Profondo, uh, Bleu by Chanel, Sauvage. I mean, we've got a lot of uh, options. And I did a video uh, that compared all of them and I found my favorite. My favorite one was one from Senya that is no longer available, but this one smells even better than that one. So for me, this is the best blue bottle that I know. It's a fragrance that it has this structure by the blue bottles. It's green, aquatic, elegant, versatile, amber, musk. But this one has some other fruits, some other mysteries to it. And for me, it's the most different, the most alluring, the easiest one to wear. And for me, this is a fragrance that has really blown my mind. So this one is number 19. Number 18, we've got a fragrance like none other. This one is called L'Ombre de Merveille, which means the shadow of the marbles. It's a combo between the El Elixir de, de Merveille, which is a fragrance by Hermès that is orange, resiny, spicy, unforgettable, with Lo, uh, Lo Bleu de Merveille, which was the aquatic uh, version of this fragrance. Well, you combine them both and you get this fragrance that is such a beauty. It's a fragrance that combines this resiny, orangey, spicy with this aquatic, with a hint of a darkness, perfection, versatile, unique, and you're going to smell like nobody else. And for me, in order to leave an olfactive memory, this is one of the best fragrances on this list, hands down. It is just that good. Number 17. For me, this is the best fragrance for work that I've ever seen. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the EDT. This is uh, the Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme, the uh, Eau de Toilette. And this is a combo that it's got lavender, it's got fig, it's got tobacco, and it's the fragrance that you wear it and you receive compliments at work. You are the sexiest person at work that you can uh, get, that you can be without looking that you are excessively trying. So this is a kind of fragrance that is going to get you so many compliments. You're going to be the hot person in at work and it's fantastic. For me, this is a fragrance that is going to be much more bought by men than by women, but this is a fragrance that it actually is fantastic for men and women alike. Same as L'Ombre de Merveille, the shadow of the marvels that I was talking about before, completely unisex. And number 16, number 16, we've got Chanel Allure Edition Blanche. This is probably the only fragrance of this collection that I have a backup bottle, not just one backup bottle. I have like four or five of them because this is, I actually have a super soft spot for this. And this has been my signature scent for many, for many, many years. This is like a spicy lemon pie with some cheeky, attractive vibes. So you get the energy, you get the smelling clean, but at the same time, this uh, white pepper spiciness, it actually makes it super alluring. For me, smelling like this, it was like, I am sexy and I know it. And I actually was because, uh, or at least I believed I was, because it actually had a huge impact uh, whenever I used to go out with this one, because I did go out with this one a lot. Well, number 15, we've got Y by Yves Saint Laurent. This is the Eau de Parfum, and this is a fragrance that has grown on me. I discovered it last year, and actually I like it better this year than I did last year. Uh, this is a, a fragrance that at Yves Saint Laurent they created in order to compete with the um, blue bottles, even though this is a sort of in-betweenish kind of uh, fragrance. And this is a fragrance that is called that aquatic greenish vibe, but with white sage, with uh, apple, with uh, some dark spices. And it's a fragrance that is so alluring and it grows so much into you that I believe is one of the most memorable fragrances for men. Nowadays, I believe that there's plenty of other brands that are copying this vibe and soon this will lose a bit the edge. But right now, this is one of the sexiest, versatile, most alluring fragrances for men that I know. Last year, I included Le Mal Le Parfum uh, to this list, but this one, which is Le Mal L'Elixir, um, has come out and has kicked the other one <clears throat> out of this list because this one for me is the best Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal that has ever existed. The original one set the level very high, but this one is the updated version for 2023 is uh, lavender, 
tonka, spicy, tobacco, dense. But this one is, everything is on esteroids. We're just pumping up the volume. It's powerful, it's sexy, it's alluring. You wanna go out at night and be more successful than Coca-Cola, you wear this one. This is a night out beast. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Again, sexy, sexy, sexy. I believe that this is a fragrance that is going to be bought much more by men than by women, but this one actually performs beautifully on everyone. Number 13, I've got a tie between two fragrances from Lush. This one is Lust, which is a combo of Jasmine and Ylang Ylang. This is one of the most sexual, uh, alluring beasts that I've ever seen, and this one is the same. This one is a bit more uh, amber, tobacco, animalic, so memorable, a bit, I don't know, it's, it's a bit boozy, but it, it's just a fragrance that you wear this and suddenly you are the most sexually powerful person in the room. Can you cope with that? If you can, these are the two best you can wear. I love them both, love them both. And I find them completely unisex, both of them. Number 12, well, what can I say? I have a super soft spot for this one. It's called Your Addict, the EDP. And this is a beautiful combo of jasmine and vanilla. And it is one of the sexiest, most alluring fragrances that I've ever seen. I know it's marketed for women. I know all women, when you wear this, you are, you're almost irresistible while being super elegant. But guys, try this on your skin and you are going to thank me later. This is a fragrance that is marketed for women, everything is for women, but it really performs beautifully on man's skin. Oh, this is just, I love it, and what can I say? Try it. Number 11, if I had to say which one is the sexiest fragrance to go out at night for women that I know, I would go with Alien. This is the EDP, this is by Mugler, and this is a combo of Amber and Jasmine. This is a fragrance that is completely for women. It is just so powerful. This is a fragrance that has going, it's going to get you the more, mo most compliments, the most reactions, the most uh, attraction. This is just an unbelievably good fragrance. No matter how old you are, no matter how you think this has been used a lot, this is like a magic spell. You put it on and people react. This is Alien by Mugler. Number 10, we've got a tie. And we've got a tie because they have, they share the same goal. These two are the most elegant fragrances for women that I know. Uh, they both have this uh, white flower structure that is super sexy. And it, they both have the same problem. And is that the moment you smell them on the bottle, you think that, yeah, this is like old school. But once it unfolds and develops on your skin, this is a fragrance that is going to get you so many compliments and the people I know that wear them both, they never tell anyone what fragrance they're wearing because they want to keep their secret. For me, uh, first one, we're going to be talking about 24 Fabourg. This is by Hermes. And this is a fragrance, both of them, for getting married, for going to the most elegant places you want. And this one, in this case, is white flowers. So it's uh, orange blossom, plus jasmine, plus tuberose, plus plus, um, plus white rose, plus, 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 with a lot of amber and musk and some citric vibe on the top. It may smell a bit old school, but just wear it on your skin and you are going to thank me later. And of course, Gabrielle, this is the Essence. This is the updated version. This is a more modern version. It's exactly the same structure, but this one has got a bit more fruity vibes. So it's a bit more modern in a way. For me, both of them are the best fragrances for getting married that I would recommend for a bride that I know. In the commercial edition, these are my picks. Number nine, I've got a masterpiece. And I believe that every year that passes by is a bigger masterpiece for me. And it's called Libre Intense. And this is by Yves Saint Laurent. For me, this is a masterpiece, uh, not only because they hired Dua Lipa to do this, the beautiful Dua Lipa, but because this is a combo of the two types of fragrances that are sexiest for men and for women. For women, the fragrances that have been uh, used the most for being sexy are the fruity, floral, ambery fragrances. This, on the one hand, is like this. But the fragrances that have been used the most for 
uh, making men sexy are the fougere fragrances. Lavender, I've already explained, the lavender, uh, citric, lavender, vetiver, patchouli. This one is also that. So you mix them both and you get a fragrance that is unbelievably sexy. That's why I say and I maintain that this is one of the best unisex fragrances ever because it really suits men and women alike. This is a fragrance that because it contains both worlds, it really suits both worlds. You wear this and you are going to see the results on yourself. I love it and the results are outstanding. This is Libre Intense, the EDP, one of the best fragrances that I know. Number eight, we've got Sadiq and Voltaire. This is her undressed. This is one of the best fragrances that I've seen uh, in a long time. And in, in terms of power projection or whatever, this is a more discreet fragrance. This is a sweeter, spicy, creamy, lovely, a hint of aquatic vibe, but it's just a, whoa. And then, it comes out like a second skin on top of your skin that is sexy as nothing you've ever smelled. You wear this on your skin. <sighs> so attractive. So this is a kind of uh, fragrance that you are not imposing yourself. You are not showing yourself on others. People are going to think, I don't know what it is. There's something uh, about her. It's not her. It's not her eyes. It's not her mouth, it's not her body. I don't know what it is. It's not her, how she thinks. I don't know what it is, but I cannot stop thinking about you. You were this, this happens. Number seven, we've got one of the best fragrances of 2023 for me. This is CK1 Reflections. If this, instead of this bottle, was in a Louis Vuitton bottle for 10 times the price, everybody would believe it. This is in a green, aquatic, unisex fragrance, a lot of musk, very humid. This enhances your sexiness. It's a fragrance that actually it was created for summer, but I've been wearing it also on colder months and it also performs beautifully. On summer, this is king or queen, but you wear this and it's just sheer perfection. I do love it. I find it outstanding. Uh, Completely unisex. I mean, it comes from the collection CK1. So this one is a unisex collection. This is a unisex fragrance. And this is probably one of the fragrances I fought the most with my wife because she thinks she's, this one is hers. And I believe this one is mine. Number six, we've got Agua de Loewe. This is the old, uh, the, uh, the old flanker. I'm going to put up here the new flanker because you always ask me which one it is. But uh, this is... I was saying before that the Versace one was the one that was, as an average, one that would get you the most compliments in the world. But there was one that I was, was the real general in getting compliments. Well, this is the one. This is a fragrance that is super easy in terms of scent. It's a citric spicy, citric, vetiver, spicy, and a hint of incense. I can say that this is a fragrance that has gotten me the most compliments ever. I'm saying that this one has more compliments than the number two, three, four, five combined. And this is a fragrance that I had so many compliments that my father saw that and he got jealous and he bought it for himself. And now whenever I smell it, it's my father's uh, fragrance. So I had to change the, the fragrance and I had to look for something else. And my quest is still going on. So this one is still as good. This is incredible, it's clean. And this proves that clean, citric spicy are always the biggest compliment getters. Number five, number five, we've got both Dior Homme. Dior Homme Intense and Dior Homme Parfum. Um, Dior Homme Intense is one of the best uh, versatile fragrances that I know. It's a combo of iris with vanilla, with lavender, spicy. So it's clean, it's incredibly attractive, and it's a fragrance that you can use in every moment and occasion. The iris that this one has is a bit more lipsticky, a bit more makeup-y. And this one is the same. This one is the most elegant or one of the most elegant fragrances that I've ever seen, Dior Homme Parfum. And it's a combo of darker uh, iris with darker um, leather, plus some rose. It is fantastic. I enjoy it. I love it. 
both of them they were my number one for many years and now they're on number five but i mean from four to one i find them better as of today but these ones are absolutely masterpieces number four sauvage elixir this is something i love this the first year i i smelled it i thought yeah this is very good probably this one has the best opening notes that i've ever seen in perfumery no matter niche or um commercial this is a combo of grapefruit and black pepper and then it starts opening up like a master song it's just it becomes like a fougere fragrance it has some lavender some vetiver some patchouli some more spices to it and it's like <sighs> how good can this get well i don't think this can be you can get anything better than this one it is unbelievable super elegant super alpha and very dominant by the way, I didn't say that uh, Dior Homme Parfum and uh, Dior Homme Intense, even though they are marketed for men, I believe that both of them are fantastic on women that complain that fragrances do not last on their skin. This is the kind of fragrance that you are going to enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I have recommended this to a lot of women and they're all super happy with this fragrance. And now let's jump into number three. And it was this year's number one in the best fragrance of 2023 that I have discovered in 2023. And this one is Heritage by Guerlain. This is the Eau de Toilette. And this is elegant perfection in a bottle. This is the everyday elegant perfection. It actually requires for you to be elegant, but it really enhances your game like a million points. This is woody, lavender, spicy. <sighs> I love it. I actually have a super soft spot for this one. I, I mean, and I am happy that this one performs beautifully on my skin. If I have to say the one that has garnered me the most compliments, besides the other one from the Guerlain that I spoke about before, the L'Homme Privé, the Platine Privé, L'Homme Ideal, this is the one. For me, I find it fantastic. And if I didn't have this collection, this would be my go-to fragrance for work or for just for being the most elegant person in the room all the time, every time, versatile and incredible. And when you smell it, you may think, yeah, Juan, you're right, but what can I say? This is a bit old school. Okay, elegance and class never, never are out of date. So that's why this one is number three. Number two, we've got Prada Lom Intense. This is a masterpiece, it's got the same structure as uh, Dior, uh, Dior Homme Parfum, but with a twist. How so? Because this one is called the Prada Iris. And the Prada Iris means that this is not makeup-y like, or uh, lipsticky like the Dior Homme. This one is the white powder, clean, powerful, with uh, some leather to it. And it really is a fragrance that is versatile, fantastic for every moment and occasion. It really enhances you, it gives you power, and it's perfect for every situation. Even though this one is called Prada Lom Intense, this is a fragrance that it really performs beautifully on men and women alike. This is a fragrance alongside with CK1, the reflections, that my wife and I fight over it. I this has been one of my signature scents and I am reluctant to give it to her, but this is a fragrance that it actually performs beautifully on her skin. So what can I say? Try it and see if it is for you or not. For me, one of the best fragrances ever, but the thing is that there is a number one that it really is something else. And finally, number one, of course, is Shalimar. Shalimar, I've got two versions of Shalimar. This is the Eau de Parfum and this is the Elixir. And both of them, are incredible. They've, they've really uh, have left a dent on the perfume history, on the history of perfumes. And this is a vanillic, iris, spicy, animalic beauty. And this is like greatness. And this one is uh, a bit more citric, sharp, more focused. So for me, the perfect combo for, the, for using this is you use this underneath and you put this on top. But both of them are unbelievable. If I had to choose one of them, this one would be my pick. This is number one, the true, true, true number one. But actually, 
all the vanillic spicy fragrances they owe their life to this combo and they are fantastic so this is my number one the best fragrance that i've ever seen and i believe that both of them are completely unisex they really really perform beautifully on men and women alike i know they were marketed for women but one day i went to um Guerlain and they told me i don't know why only women buy it because this is a fragrance that is completely unisex and actually 20 to 30 percent of the people that buy these fragrances these fragrances for themselves are men so Maybe you think I'm crazy, try it on your skin and you will thank me later for going out at night. Elegance and sexiness is all one. And before we go, I just wanted to tell you that there is a lot of times that people complain that fragrances do not last. I don't know, Mont Blanc, like the Star Walker or uh, I don't know, the original Aqua Di Gio or whatever. We have a solution for that and it's the, the Exponential Boost. This is a fragrance enhancer that it actually enhances duration and projection of any fragrance. You apply it on your skin and then you apply any fragrance on top and it's going to last and project way more. So. Maybe you don't need it. I'm sure you don't need it. But should you need it, this is the perfect solution. And the thing is that you can say whatever you want, but this works beautifully. Having said all this, I don't know. We've covered a lot of ground today. I hope that you've liked it. I would love to know, as you write it down here, the your favorite uh, commercial fragrances of all time. If you've liked the video, just give us a like. Subscribe to the channel. And I look very much forward to seeing you next video. So, well, I'm Talk to you soon. Adios, adios.